Hey guys, in this video I would like to take a look at Jolly OS 1.2. Um, I am currently running, um, or I am booting from the ISO image inside of a virtual machine. Um, I was going to install it in the VirtualBox um, virtual machine, however um, it had a fatal error. Um, so I am yeah, running it from the ISO. So when you first boot into um, Jolly OS, this is the screen that you um, should see. Um, Jolly OS was formerly known as Jolly Cloud, however on this screen it says Welcome to Jolly Cloud, your personal desktop for the cloud. Uh, so you can either log in with Facebook or you can sign up. Um, I am going to sign up, I'm just going to pause the video whilst I enter my details. I just um, signed up for an account. Um, I'm not sure whether or not um, they should um, make you sign up for an account when you're just um, testing the software from an image. Um, though anyhow, that's what I had to do. Um, as you can see here, you are running Jolly OS as a guest. Your local changes will not be saved. Um, this is obviously because I am just um, testing it um, from the ISO image, like you would with you know any other um, Linux distribution. You know you can try it before you install it. Uh, so pretty much what we um, pretty much all of these icons are more or less um, or as you can probably see there I've just gotten a couple of emails from Jolly Cloud. So all of the icons are more or less links to websites um, for the most part. Not not necessarily though for the most part. So if I open browser this looks like it um, it looks like it's Chromium. Yep. So yeah, we have Chromium installed. Uh, Facebook. This will probably just take me to a link inside of Chromium, I imagine. Or well, it's got its own sort of window, which opens up. Though it's just a window um, which opens up um, the web page, really. It's a basic web browser. Um, Twitter, Gmail, Flickr, YouTube, Google Docs. And we have a couple of different things. New York Times, Space Invaders. Canvas Rider, this looks to be a bit of a game. Once again, it's more or less um, a basic browser that opens up and all of the pages are based on the web. Though, you know, that's what you expect with a cloud OS. Um, we have News Map, I'm not sure what that is. Though, yeah, um, you know, Jolly OS is targeted at um, netbooks, so obviously um, you wouldn't want this on, you know, your desktop, for example. Um, it's just, you know, it's a good netbook OS if if all you really, um, if you have a netbook and you only use it for, you know, updating your Twitter or checking Facebook and your emails and editing a few light documents on Google Docs then this is perfect for you though. Um, it's not good as a, you know, a full-blown OS. I mean, you wouldn't use it, um, you know, on a desktop. You wouldn't use it um, for everyday purposes. Like, you can't play, you know, graphically intense games on here or anything like that. Or not that I know of. Um, so, yeah, so we have News Map, Cannabolt, that's probably another game, Wikipedia, Google Voice. Uh, and we have a couple of different pages here. It reminds me of, you know, um, it reminds me of iOS. So, you know, we have a, di a couple of um, different links here. It's more or less just links to um, web pages. Nothing, you know, exciting. Um, and what do we have here? What does this do? Okay, Jolly Cloud Wallpapers. So you can change your wallpaper. Okay, yep, that took a little while. I suppose because I'm running off the ISO, it's probably a bit faster um, once you've actually installed it. Well, let's hope so. Um, so, yeah, you have a few um, different wallpapers, the Jolly Cloud um, wallpapers. You can obviously select your own wallpaper, stretch to fill the screen. So yeah, you know, it's all pretty basic really. So, and what will this do? I imagine that this is just to add links or... Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's sort of like, um, 
it's sort of like an app store. So all you're really getting is um, you know links to um, programs which run in browsers, or for the most part. Some of these are probably applications that actually would install on your netbook, like um, let's see VLC. Let's see what will happen when I add that. Okay, it says it's added. That didn't take very long. So I imagine I clicked that to get out of it. Oh. Actually, no, no, no. I don't know how you get out of this thing. Okie dokie. Yeah, I'm not sure how you get out of it. Ah. Alright, my bad. You click this to go back to um, the sort of home screen. I'm just going to call this the home screen. So yeah, let's look um, for VLC. So we have VLC, will this open up in a browser or will it be its own sort of application? And see when you hover over like for example these two folders, you know they're obviously part of the OS whereas you can delete you know all the links and applications. Uh, well the icon is grey there so I'm not sure whether or not it has fully installed yet or Oh. Um, I'm not sure, though it doesn't seem to want to open up. I have to be honest, I'm not um, really liking this um, Jolly OS a lot. Um, if I had a choice, um, I would... Um, or if I had a netbook, I mean, I would go with Ubuntu with the Unity interface. You know, I'm not liking this. And it's being really slow. I'm not sure whether it's, be it's probably because I'm running it from an ISO image. So look, I'm clicking back and, you know, oh, it takes forever to go back. You know, double click on the application I just installed and it won't open. Let's try something else. Transmission for BitTorrent. Okay, it says added. See, this is also greyed out. It's a bit strange. You should be able to um, run applications even if you're booting off of an ISO, or you can in most um, Linux distributions, like if you install Ubuntu and want to play around with it, you can install applications, etc. Though, I'm not sure. Is there some sort of install now button I need to click or what? Anyhow, it doesn't want to do open these applications. That's probably because I'm running it from the ISO. Though still, it should still let you. It's just stupid. Okay, and what do we have here? It looks to be a satellite. Okay, so this icon for the home screen has an A. Maybe that stands for application launcher, I don't know. This looks to be a bit of a satellite. Oh, so this is probably for, you know, Facebook and Twitter and all of that sort of, you know, stuff. So, oh yeah, you can add, you know, different things. Um, okay, Jolly, Jolly Cloud, Shared, um, Mood Share, Min.us, Lendink. Knife tank, the hauntening and dashed. I don't know, I imagine that you can add different streams here. So, what will happen if I go to following Jolly Cloud? Oh, is this like their own version of Twitter or something? I'm not liking this at all. Okay, this device, Jolly OS. And um, Jolly OS 1.2, I imagine that's the mounted ISO image, which it thinks is a, you know, a disk. So this must be the basic file system. And you have Dropbox and Google Docs here, which is pretty nice. I like that. So, you know, if you, what happens if you go to desktop? 
looks to be a configuration file music uh, settings you know your public page I'm not sure what you'd use that for username email oh, thankfully it's not showing that though you know it's alright info badges I'm not sure how you earn badges maybe on their website history oh, I wonder what sort of information they collect about you just what you've installed I'm not sure if they have any other information like what you've modified etc shared apps devices so obviously you can um, use your the same account um, on multiple devices it's pretty easy to do it just um, must um, sync you know the applications and data etc over so yeah you know this OS is um, you know good if you have a netbook I suppose if you you know if you have a older slower netbook then I suppose this would be good because most of it um, is based in the cloud though I'm not a big fan of it if I had a netbook I'd personally go for um, you know Ubuntu with the unity interface um, yeah so you know feel free to download it check it out you might actually want to install it in a virtual machine if you can get it to work um, though yeah I've always wanted to try Jolly OS though you know after trying it now it doesn't really appeal to me that much it just seems like um, a dumped down Linux um, distribution which understandably it has to be you know um, you know slimmer and faster for a netbook though still it just seems you know you know I'm just not a big fan of it really um, yeah feel free to check it out tell me what you think about it and thanks for watching